Hey, what's up everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today I'm at the shop and I'm working on taking the uh, green spotted puffers out of their 10 gallon tanks. They're quarantine tanks. Uh, they're finished with the quarantine. Everybody looks good, everybody looks healthy. But I wanted to put them in something a little bit bigger, something where they have a little bit more room to swim and might feel a little bit more comfortable because a lot of them this week will be um, going to their forever homes, going to customers' tanks. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start on that and I wanted to kind of show you guys the process of that. And of course we'll be feeding them and doing some fun things like that as well. And then I think I'm gonna be taking a couple of them to, uh, to, cus uh, to customers' houses also. I got a bunch of green spotted puffers in this bucket. There's gotta be like 50 of them in there. And we're gonna go ahead and um, I got them acclimating and we're gonna put them in this uh, frag tank, this low boy frag tank for now. Put some rock in there and um, they should be happy in here for the time being. We got them all quarantined, they're all medicated. So we're gonna store them in here for now. Um, and we got a bunch of customers that are looking forward to getting them. So, but this way they get a little bit more room than being uh, a bunch of them in a 10 gallon. So I think this will be much more comfortable for them. So let's get them ready. They're all acclimated, like I said. Let's get them ready to dump into the frag tank. Oh, here we go. All right, so I need both my hands for this. So I will videotape once they're in. And there is everybody in the tank. Over top view. Get them all. This tank will be much better for them. They got a lot more room to swim. So this will be our holding tank. Now, like I said, there's probably about 50 of them in here. And I'd say about half of them are already uh, ready to go to customers. So they'll be in here temporarily. And in the next coming week or two, we'll get them all out and they'll all be in customers' tanks. So that's exciting. They got a little rock work here to kind of chill and hide in. So yeah, I'm excited for that. So Tommy, tell them what you're doing. I'm grabbing this cricket. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna enrich the puffer fish. So we're gonna feed this cricket, which we use to feed our toke geckos, toke geckos. which are over there and we're going to give them to these green spotted puffers. Give them a nice little treat and see how they react see, to it. See if we can get them to notice it. All right, he's in. He's doing the backstroke. Boom! Right off the bat. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a feeding frenzy. Oh, well, yeah, I guess they like it. Holy moly, look at this. It's pretty cool. <laughs> well, it's gone. It's all that's left of the cricket right there. But that, that leg floating on by. Wow, that was. Oh, that's about to be gone too. And finishing off the leg right there. Wow. Oh, 50 puffers versus one cricket. <laughs> wow. Now some blood worms from a boys. Oh my gosh. Like a feeding frenzy. I'll put another one over here for the guys. This is enough for everybody. Better get on it. Oh my gosh, guys, come on. And that one's gone. Wow. So we are at one of the customer's houses right now and um, we're gonna go ahead and get the puffer acclimated and get them ready to go. Uh, this is a beautiful tank. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. This is a beautiful tank, and I think the puffer will do really well in here. It's got a nice assortment of fish. Um, it's got tons and tons of coral. I really think this puffer is gonna make a nice addition to this tank, and I'm really excited about it. So let's go ahead and go inside. Let's get him acclimated, and let's get him in the tank, and then we can um, take a look and see how he's gonna do. And here's our little puffer, all acclimated, temperature, 
uh, acclimated and drip acclimated, ready to go in. Looks really healthy, looks alert. Uh, I'm really excited to get uh, to get them in there and I really think it's be a great compliment to this tank. So as we have the puffer here in the bag and I know he's anxious to get out, but uh, let me go ahead and show you a little bit about this tank so you can become a little bit more familiar with it. So from far away, you can see that really pretty red anemone right there. Um, we have a bunch of anemones in this tank. Uh, beautiful red mushrooms. So we have everything from uh, SPS, LPS, and softies in this tank. And we also have three different types of anemones. You just saw the one right there. That's a black widow. We also have uh, flower anemone and carpet anemone in this tank too. Little mini uh, maxi carpets uh, in this tank. Um, and then over here on this side, you can see there, there's the... Um, uh, rock flower anemone over there and then to the left here you can see a 24 karat lepto encrusting nice and to the right of it that's a pavona coral an sps coral that's uh, encrusting really nice and look at the size of this toadstool leather coral i think it's massive it's so big that the customer wants us actually to frag it we have some gorgonians that are doing great um some mushrooms so all these corals started off as just little frags it's crazy you see in the background some utter chaos zoanthids elegance coral and we even have Acropora in this tank. Now this started off as just a small colony. It's grown like crazy. Um, I'm really happy that, that we're able to get some Acropora in here. This uh, is an, a PC rainbow Acropora coral. Now that started off with just a little frag and you can see it's doing really, really well. The color on that is insane. The camera really just doesn't pick it up but in, in, in person. It's just a great looking coral. So the point is we have a bunch of different corals in this tank for the pop, uh, puffer to go after, but I'm really confident that uh, he won't go after any of these corals. Uh, you know, given my experience uh, with puffers in the past, beautiful colony of zoanthids right there. They're doing really great. And then uh, you can tell this Fabi is hungry. Look at that. Look at the pops are out. He's looking to eat. But, you know, even still we'll monitor the corals, make sure there's no, um, you know, uh, signs of stress or anything on them and we'll watch the puffer and make sure that everything's all good because everything's doing really well in this tank and we don't want to do anything that's going to screw that up so um you know we're still obviously going to monitor everything and play it safe can never be too safe and then some of the fish that we have in here is you can see that yellow chorus wrasse right there we actually have two of those a male and a female but the actual jerk of the tank is this male antheus right there you can you can barely get him on camera but yeah he's actually the kind of the uh of the jerk of the tank so let's go ahead and put this puffer in. I'm sure he's going to be excited to get out here. Come on, bud. There you go. And he's off. Oh, this is exciting. So hopefully nobody messes with him and goes after him. And he can kind of uh, get settled in here. Hopefully nobody picks on him. He is a new addition to this tank, so they might you know, be curious of what he is. Um, puffers have such a unique look to them that I noticed that a lot of fish don't really go after them because of, you know, they just have such an odd behavior and, um, such a different body type. Yeah. So he's doing good so far. Nobody seems to be really paying any attention to him. So that's a good sign. And, oh God, doesn't he just look awesome in here? Oh it's so cool it, again it's just such a unique looking fish it really adds a lot of contrast to this tank it just takes this tank to a whole nother level i'm really excited look how small he looks compared uh, next to that toadstool leather oh my god that's crazy uh the other fish i brought today for the customer is a blue throat fairy wrasse so we're gonna go ahead and get him ready to get in here, which I think it's got great color. It doesn't show up too good on camera. He's a little stressed out, but we're gonna go ahead and leave him in here. And uh, I am a little bit more worried about this one because they're a little bit more delicate. His color is already starting to come back a bit, so he's looking good. You can see that blue underneath his throat. I, I am concerned because there is uh, two yellow chorus wrasse in here that you know caused me concern. Hopefully they don't go after him. And then that Antheus, I'm also worried about because he is a real bully and he's been going after a lot of different fish. So uh, I'm going to keep my eye up. There goes a the coarse wrasse. There's the male too. That's the male. You can see the pink on his face, the markings on his face. We'll have to watch that and make sure that goes okay. It's the only thing that's giving me a little bit of pause is uh, 
like I said, those, those, it all depends on those, on those, uh, on those chorus rests. So the Anthias, he, I think he can manage, but the uh, chorus rests. Oh, look at the color on him! Wow, look at that beautiful red and that blue underneath his throat. And he, and he's not even flashing. His fins aren't even up. When they, when they put those fins up and they flash, oh, the color on this thing is gonna be great. All right, so I'm gonna monitor these guys, and I will give you guys an update on how they do as soon as I get a chance. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and monitor and make sure everybody's good to go. All right, so that's it, that's the day. Um, hopefully the puffer does well in that tank. I'm looking forward to putting, adding more of these puffers to other people's reef tanks. I'm really excited about it. So we have a lot more puffers, we have a lot more tanks to put them in. So I'll take as much video as I possibly can and I will keep you up to date, you know, long-term. This is a process and we'll see how they all adjust in these tanks. And you know, hopefully it all works out. So uh, I'm excited to see the results. And if I'm doing anything that I think is cool or interesting, I'll definitely videotape it and share it with you guys. And uh, you know, like always, I appreciate comments and questions and, and advice or anything you guys want to uh, add to the conversation. I think it's uh, good to have a little community here where we can share some ideas and, and some, uh, some experiments and things like that. So hit me up if you got anything that you want to share. Thank you so much. Have a good one.